Well, hello and welcome to a North Wales side by side video. Right, what we're going to have a look at here today is maybe a solution to those of you who don't use your cars uh, as often as other people do, where they're having the 12 volt battery issue. I know I use my car an awful lot. Mine, I will admit, has never suffered with this 12 volt battery issue that lots and lots of people do suffer with. Let's just go back a few years and go back to 2020 when we were in, within our COVID lockdowns and Toyota issued a press release and they already were aware that the 12 volt batteries were going flat on Yaris hybrids but then there wasn't so many of these Mark IVs about it was the other hybrids that were suffering from the problem because the 12 volt battery in these needs to be at a set amount of charge to arm the relays to turn the hybrid system on and once it drops below a certain voltage it will not turn the relays on and there's only two relays it needs to activate but the car's been programmed in such a way the computer's looking for x amount of volts so they were advising people to go out to their cars and put them into the ready state which it will always tell you on the dashboard like it is here now it's in the ready state and to leave them powered up for half an hour 40 minutes one at least once a week and the reason why i'm making this video now is because i've i've had a comment off a gentleman who uses his car maybe for about 60 miles a week they're not heavy car users and what he said to me was he turns the car on for half an hour 40 minutes but the car never turns on it just sits as mine is now not running and he's worried about the hybrid battery may be having a fault as well because it just sits at three or four bars and never charges well again we're back down to computers the hybrid battery will only request the engine to start when the hybrid battery gets below a certain voltage threshold otherwise your car will sit there for half an hour 40 minutes maybe an hour and never start what i would suggest if that's what your car's doing to do nothing more than force the engine to start up to charge the hybrid battery and it's really really easy to do come down to the air conditioning turn the air conditioning on my aircon's just started but the car still has not turned on so what I would suggest to force it to come on and I'm going to do it here now just turn the aircon on all the way as high as it will go And that has now just forced the engine to start. In this state now, you can leave the car and it'll charge the hybrid battery. It'll also charge the 12 volt system. And the reason why the engine's turned on is because you've turned the aircon as high as it'll go. The engine's not warm enough. For the aircon to run at its highest temperature so it's now forced the engine to start so the car will sit in this state now for your half an hour 40 minutes it'll turn on it'll turn off it'll turn on it'll turn off 
charge the 12 volt and also put more charge into the hybrid battery. So that's all you need to do if you're worried about it not charging. Turn the aircon on, leave the car for half an hour, 40 minutes. Once a week if you're a low car user and you shouldn't really then have any problems. If I turn the aircon off now or turn it down, I'll turn it down. As soon as I turned it down, it shut the engine off. Turn it back up. It forces the engine back on. That's all you need to do. For the amount of fuel it uses, it's minuscule. It doesn't matter. The car's quite happy to do this for as long as you leave it. Thanks for watching, please consider liking, please consider subscribing and I hope that answers the question of what you should do when you're having a half hour, 40 minute battery charging session in the car.